I was in so much pain, I could barely do anything. Yet I was due back to help my friend out again. So I used my other shoulder that day, but now I worried that I was going to pull that one out as well. And I started maybe kind of flopping it over my shoulder rather than lifting it, like I said before, kind of like uh, Santa and his toy sack style, which I think worked a little bit better. Live and learn, right? Live and learn. So I, I managed okay the second day. I don't I didn't pull out my second shoulder, but I went home and I put ice on that, you know, injured shoulder on and off for the rest of the day. Thankfully, that seemed to do the trick. And by the next morning, I was feeling much better. But I got to tell you, you never realize how much you use your shoulder until every move you make is painful. Taking a shower, picking things up, putting your glasses on, grabbing a book, going to the bathroom. I mean, you use your shoulder for everything. People, uh, a couple of people even said to me, but you work out. This shouldn't happen to you. Well, first of all, it's usually muscles that we don't typically use every day or when we're working out that I was using. It was like a whole different set of muscles. So um, that's the first part. But the second part, you're actually right. If someone who works out can so easily pull out their shoulder, imagine how easy it will be for those that don't condition their body at all. I don't know how old you are, but we're all getting older every single day. And our bodies are not designed to last a long, long, long time. So the only way you can combat that is to condition your body. Make it strong so that you can handle things like this when it comes along. It's about feeling good and strong. And it gets so much more important as we get older. So that is my sneak peek for next week. If you don't care about fitness, maybe you can skip the blogs next week. Not the podcast, though, because I am super funny. I mean, some would even say hilarious. But I urge you to at least give it a listen, give it a little thought. Even a leisurely walk every day will do wonders for your body. It's better than doing nothing at all. But today, this day, is Cocktail Friday. So we will wait and tackle this subject next Monday. It's almost the weekend, people. Hopefully, you have a long weekend and don't have to work today. A lot of people managed to get off today as well as yesterday since it was a holiday. It fell on a lot of floating holidays. All right, let's give them off Friday too. So I hope you are one of those people and you don't have to work today. But if you are or if you aren't, it is Friday, and you know what that is. It's time to grab an adult beverage, and cheers to the freaking weekend. So I hope you are having a wonderful continuation of the July 4th celebrations, and you had a blast, literally and not literally. I hope you were safe, and please make today your best day yet. Thank you for listening to The Hopeless, hosted by Wendy McClure. For more inspiration, please visit Hopefulist.com. Thanks, and we'll see you tomorrow on The Hopefulist. Hopefulist.